Pisces, I'm here for another general and collective reading for you here today. As always, this is not a personal reading. It's just a general reading. So just take the parts that resonate with you. Leave what doesn't kindly for the next person. If you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one session with me, an Akashic Record session to dive into past lives, or if you would like to check out any of our upcoming courses and workshops, both online and offline for the months of March and April, check out the box below. It has my website, my email. Also check out the events page on my website, letsgohome.energy. That's where you'll see the upcoming events and workshops. We're going to get right to your reading today, Pisces. As always, thank you for your love. Thank you for all of your support and all of your reflections. It is the 3-3 portal today, so you could be feeling it, but whenever you come across this video, it can be for you. Divine Mother, Divine Father, what do we have for the Pisces Collective today? For their highest good and for the highest good of all, what do we have for Pisces? River of Blessings, Releasing Constraints, the number 47, so you could be seeing the numbers 4 or 7, or uh, you could be in your 40s as well. River of Blessings, Releasing Constraints. Okay, so ooh, right away what I get to is like powerful force behind you, Pisces, because I've never truly noticed what the background was. And I've had this deck for about two years, but there's something in the background I just noticed. There's a very powerful force behind you, Pisces. There's some need um, for you to remember that, to know that. Um, there are blockages that are being cleared right now. But what I get with this card is like powerful force behind you. And then you do have innovation, new creations over here. Okay. A lot of animals. So you could definitely like connect with animals. Um, some of you do like animal therapy. Like either you do animal therapy or you go to animal therapy. So that's just like an extra that can resonate with you. What else do we have for River of Blessings? Yeah, you're releasing what needs to be released, Pisces. I feel like we always say this, right? Release to receive, release to receive, release to receive. Do it your way, untamed. Embrace your uniqueness. Be who you are, Pisces. That's on the bottom of the deck. You have come to me, attracting like a rose, receive abundance desires. The crowning, initiation, thresholds, birth, rebirth, a seat at the table. You've had to rebirth this, but on the bottom of the other deck, it says new creations. I do feel like you're birthing this and I actually have a video uploading, so this could have to do with the 3-3 portal to Pisces. But the Trinity, the Holy Trinity, when I woke up this morning for the 3-3 portal, I keep seeing the Trinity. The Trinity. Um, I was passing by a sign that said Trinity, okay? And when it comes to the Holy Trinity, 3-3 energy, it's birthing a third energy. But what is that? It doesn't have to be a baby. You're birthing a new life, a new project, something over here, Pisces. You've been through this rebirth cycle and it's time for you to receive. You've shed the old skin. You've released what it is that you've had to release. All right. And you're ready to create something. You know, it's, it's your human and your highest self that's creating something here um, for like the material realms. Abundance. Abundance is, uh, abundance can be a lot of things, Pisces. Okay. So whatever that means to you, but just be open and ready to receive. Okay. Releasing constraints. This Saturn in Pisces, uh, Pisces, this Saturn in Pisces is going to allow you to be like the, who you truly are, Pisces. Everyone gets a little bit worried about the word Saturn, but Saturn is really going to help everyone, especially Pisces aligned to your highest timeline. Uh, I just posted a video about that because your highest timeline is always available to you. It's just aligning to that timeline. All right, Pisces. So be ready to receive. You're being asked to be in your feminine energy. Just allow the bee to come and pollinate the rose. Do not chase anything right now. That's definitely a big energy for this reading, Pisces. Don't chase anything right now at all. Why river of blessings come to me and a crowning? for the Pisces. Ten of Wands, ready to put it down, okay? The release of constraints over here. What is your wand? What is the Ten of Wands that's for you, Pisces, that you're ready to put down wand by wand? Definitely an oppressing energy. Why do we have the Ten of Wands for Pisces? Why do we have Ten of Wands and Four of Coins for Pisces? 
There was definitely a blockage of receiving here, Pisces. You have the Ten of Wands. You have Four of Coins. You also have Eight of Swords. Bottom of the deck is Three of Wands. Okay, so seeing the bigger picture. For some of you, some of the biggest blockages when it comes to receiving blessings, when it comes to receiving abundance, is not feeling like you're worthy of it with the uh, Ten of Wands, the Four of Coins, and the Eight of Swords. All right, there's also a karmic cycle here. It is that you're releasing as well. The Four of Coins and the Eight of Swords, this is representing a karmic cycle that you're holding on to. One that inhibits you. This inhibits you from receiving Pisces. Also with the Four of Coins, they're holding on to something tightly. What can you loosen your grip on so that you can receive? Ten of Wands over here. I'm going to get a clarification for each. Why the Ten of Wands? King of Cups, that's your energy Pisces. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in the masculine form. Why the Four of Coins? Page of Swords. Why the Eight of Swords? Beautiful energy Pisces. You do have King of Swords here. Pisces, you're putting down the burdens or realizing that there are some burdens to put down. Like it's time to put this down. It's time to end this karmic cycle. You're holding on to something tightly that it's hard to let go of, whatever that is. Okay, Page of Swords over here. I want to clarify though the Page of Swords with the Four of Coins. Why the Page of Swords with the Four of Coins? Why the Page of Swords and Four of Coins? This is so clear, Pisces. You have the six of, look at that. You have the six of coins, which is someone literally gifting you something. And then you have the tower. There is something that wants to come in here, Pisces. There is a gift that does want to come in. And beyond that, it's just like being open to receiving what is for you, Pisces. With the page of swords energy, could be a little bit defensive. What I'm getting, Pisces, is that for some of you, you actually know what you need to release. Or it's becoming clear to you, especially with the, when the full moon of Virgo comes up, uh, that has to do with the body. It has to do with the mind. Uh, it's going to be very clear to you what is not in alignment for you in your highest timeline, whatever it is in your life. The Page of Swords could be a little bit of an immature energy. I almost feel like you, in a sense, like are holding on to something because you really don't want to let it go. All right. Why the Six of Coins here? Yeah, you have the Five of um, Wands here, Pisces. Why the Six of Coins here for the Page of Swords and the Four of Coins? You're balancing this out. Look at that justice. justice for some of you this could actually be like a court case too i do feel like you've had to this has been like a test and a cycle for you things are coming to a balance okay for some of you this could have to do with legal matters uh for others of you this is coming to a balance over here five of wands with the two of coins with the page of swords energy i'm not getting like the usual energy from it One card for the Five of Wands and the Two of Coins. Yeah, uh, Pisces, Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, okay? This could have to do with a legal matter. It doesn't have to. Um, you've had to release things that you didn't want to release. Like this conflict, right, that presented itself in your life, it was to change your life. It was to reveal things to you about your life. Like, what is it in life that you're holding on to that you can actually let go of that really isn't working for you? You know, it did happen in the form of like a legal matter, five of wands, some sort of conflict. But this conflict actually, like this conflict shaped you and it did turn out for the highest good. It did. There was some sort of karma here, Pisces. That came your way because that's kind of what i'm getting to like again the karmic cycles because karma is not bad but there was this karmic cycle over here that again our souls choose what cycles we're going to face like your soul chose this 
It, it was meant to be for the highest good. I feel like this conflict, Pisces, this, uh, this what felt oppressing, what felt like conflict, it revealed to you though, okay, we have the initiation card. Like this dark time, whatever this was, Pisces, was very karmic. It revealed to you parts of you. Okay? It revealed to you parts of you that you needed to see. And it did, could have like completely destroyed your life or really changed your life over here. But you were exposed and revealed to more parts of yourself. This triggered like some sort of self-development over here. You do have a beautiful energy over the Eight of Swords, okay? So Eight of Swords, this time of feeling trapped. For some of you, the Eight of Swords could be like legal matters. Could be feeling confined. Something trapped you in a sense, or you felt trapped, okay? Like for some of you, it, it truly could have been, you know, like legal matters, like following certain laws, things like that. Like this was for this, Nine of Coins, to build you. You are clearing those blocks of not receiving. You are so open and ready to receive. But you needed this karmic cycle. Which I, I feel like some of you perceived it as like punishment, bad, or whatever it was. But this really did build you. Okay? And you're coming out very abundant. You're coming out with perfect success. This is just karma that needed to be balanced. And again... You came out of this a better person, Pisces. You came out of this a better person. Why do we have the Nine of Coins with the Eight of Swords? The Hierophant. For some of you, like, these are like initiation type of energies in your life. You know, take everything as it resonates. Your journey is your journey and make it fit for you. But some of these, you know, were to reveal parts of your subconscious, to rise into higher, because the outcome is beautiful. But you did have to go through that cycle, all right? The Hierophant is like an initiator. It's a mentor. It's a teacher. It's also a long-term commitment. Why the Hierophant? Why the Hierophant? God is behind all of this over here. You have the Page of Wands. You have Justice. You have Victory, okay? God is behind all of this. For some of you, I feel like in that karmic cycle, you could have felt like a victim. Like the world was against you. Like it felt like you were the one who kind of had to take the medicine. The bitter medicine, right? But it brought healing. It, it brought a new version of you, Pisces. The past is the past. God is on top of this for you, okay? Everything is already ordained. You have the Page of Wands, all right? This is a spark of inspiration. This is a spark of hope, of passion. You have the Justice card over here, which could have to do with, like again, the balance or legal contracts and things like that. All of this is balancing out for you, Pisces. You have victory on the bottom of the deck. The process of it, um, is going to reveal again the process of it doesn't feel so great but the outcome is you are a completely different person your a whole life has actually changed over here like your whole life has truly changed here so this worked out for the good it worked out for the highest good okay why the page of wands with the justice card yeah you have the devil what's in the way pisces Again, that's that karmic energy too. King of Pentacles over here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What are these cycles for you, Pisces? For some of you, this could be another person. Okay? Uh, like for some of you, there could be like a divorce type of energy. Take it as it resonates. Uh, I am seeing like someone reclaiming their power back. Um, going through a lot in this process though like if this is like a again like a legal process um, whatever this is for you Pisces um, looks like a tough process you're breaking a lot of chains that are very energetic um, and don't necessarily have to do with what you see it feels like a lot is shifting here energetically 
for everyone involved, but you are reclaiming your power. This does come to a balance and you come out of this with perfect success, even more abundance and stability. All right. Why do we have the Ten of Cups here for Pisces? Why do we have the Ten of Cups? Why do we have the Ten of Cups here for Pisces? For some of you, you may be, um, look at that victory again, coming into a new cycle when it comes to love, um, love or the home, okay? There's going to be something new over here coming in for you. I do see it like more on the horizon type of thing as you clear this. Um, but you can, for some of you, expect like uh, when it comes to a new opportunity that's going to make you very happy. Ten of Cups is your ultimate happiness, okay? There's a new opportunity. It's like uh, the ability to purchase a home. I'm getting 33 seconds. I'm getting a home, like a home home that you own um, and love, okay? So those new opportunities might be coming in for you here, Pisces. Can I have one clarification for the Devil card for the Pisces? gonna have to get a clarification on that you can't leave on that <laughs> can i have a clarification for the devil card in the pisces you do amaze me i love reading for pisces i obviously like i only read for pisces um one of the reasons is like i'm just so familiar with pisces energy i have a lot of pisces in my chart um two it's actually a lot of like to the people who read for all signs I give you so much props because that that is a lot of work and it's a lot of time um but again pisces like i'm always so amazed by you like forget the readings and two like when i talk to you like <laughs> when when we talk when we're in union we're not in physical union as much hopefully this year more but like when i have sessions with you like you're just amazing the way that your minds work the way that you bring it into reality like the Pisces energy, go Pisces, happy birthday Pisces. Uh, we have the devil card, right? I got the tower card after that. So I'm like, I, we can't leave Pisces off with a devil and a tower card. Like, how do you leave off with the tower card? You have the 10 of pentacles, Pisces. You have the 10 of pentacles with the 10 of cups in this reading. For some of you though, like this feels legal. It feels legal, feels like a court case. Feels like something along those lines where it was like, why is this happening to me? Or you felt like it was a punishment. For some of you, this is just karma like you have to clear. You had to clear it. That's it. Like just from past life energies, it's not personal. You had to clear it. Okay? But release to receive. Release to receive. Release to receive. You have a ten of cups here. You have a ten of pentacles. This brand new cycle is here for you. This did work out in your highest favor. Why? Because through this, you shifted all of who you are. Like this is someone, let me just give a quick example, okay? Say someone got like a DUI, right? Say someone got a DUI. Now, like you went to jail, you, you got there, like there's all these different laws, you got arrested. Maybe you didn't mean to. But you gotta, maybe you didn't mean to, right, Pisces? But you're in the situation and you gotta move through the situation now. Now, after you just got that DUI that you thought it was the worst thing in your life, you thought you were never gonna get through it, you thought that you were being punished, attacked, guilt, shame. One year later, you don't drink anymore and your whole life has changed because you got that DUI. Your whole life has changed. You don't drink anymore and you're doing better than ever with money, with love. So that's the example here in this reading Pisces where like something similar to that happened, where you could, a, a divorce, child custody case, um, all those different things. It didn't feel good. For some of you, like you did get, for some of you that this was the way that God had planned, your higher self had planned for, and I see three, three as soon as I say that. So you could definitely be seeing three, three, three. This is the way that your higher self has planned. Sometimes it's those instances and it's those big wake up calls that allow us to be like, I got to stop doing this. I got to stop doing that. I need to change who I am. That's how this worked out in your life. Pisces wasn't great. Didn't feel great. 
and for some of you you had to do some sort of time you had to put in some sort of time or some sort of work okay but this is what you actually needed not what you wanted this is what you needed to come into your highest timeline ten of cups ten of pentacles these are the two best cards in the deck pisces after all of this why because you deserve it whatever your past was you deserve it in the present moment of now you are attracting like a rose. You are releasing constraints. All of this was just initiation into higher so you can remember who you are and so you can receive all that is for you because this is for you, Pisces, and it cannot be taken away from you unless you take it away yourself. All right, so that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that this reading resonates. I love you, and I hope that you have a great day.